2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the second stop of the FedEx Cup playoffs. Today's coverage of the BMW Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and Rich we find ourselves in the state of Delaware, Wilmington Country Club, the south course in operation and take us through the first hole. Really solid opening hole here, Luke. There's a bunker down the left-hand side. The long hitters can find if they elect to take driver. Second shot goes up the hill ever so slightly to a green that's wide in the front and very tiny in the back. Well, it's all set up for an exciting event. Can't wait to get into this. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? And from around 135 yards. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Getting off to a great start at this event. I've never been disappointed by starting off by a round with the birdie, Luke, I can tell you that. And Rich, the second hole in play for the championship is a little different than the round in the member's face. It's the 13th on the card. Take us through it. It is. It's a very strong par three, just over 210 yards. But this green is very deep, so it wouldn't surprise me to see this hole playing somewhere over the 225-yard mark. It's very narrow, very long, and very difficult. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. This one has eyes for the hole. Ouch, that hurts. Putting for a par here. You finished your work on that hole. Let's take a look at the next one. Time to catch up with the Canadian, Brooke Henderson. Well, that's certainly worth another look. Let's take a look at the replay. Oh, that's a sensational moment. Mark that down as a highlight today. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Uh, we head to the first of the par fives in operation, the third hole, Rich. Big hitters will be able to take advantage and drive it over those bunkers down the right-hand side, leaving a very straightforward and basic second shot back up the hill. Amazing how often whoever wins this week because they've now got that huge advantage going into the Tour Championship and the way that's sort of staggered these days, this is a big tournament to win. It is, and, to, and knowing full well that they will start having a, a decent advantage over second place at the Tour Championship, there's a lot to play for for the guys that are in the top five right now because they know if they play well enough and win or even finish second enough to get them over into that top spot going into Tour Championship week, that's massive for them. And I think that there's also a little bit extra in there as well. I love this tournament. Been coming to the BMW for many years. Love the fact that the Evan Scholar Foundation is a big part of it where kids, they generate a lot of money for these kids. Caddies uh, around the country, a lot of them in the Midwest, go ahead and put them through school. The great thing about it, Luke, is that a lot of these kids who are caddying really aren't golfers. They're just out there because they learned how to caddy at their local golf course, and all of a sudden they've done so well, and now they've got an opportunity to go to college because of that. It's a great, uh, a great foundation, great program here. Pretty good shot there. Well, it's time to head back down to the fairways. John, what's up, mate? Well, I'm down on the fifth hole. This is Tony Finau's next shot. Oh, what a ripper from long range. 
Oh, and up he goes, marching to the top of the leaderboard. Time for the second shot here at the fourth. Oh, look at this, right down the throat. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Nearly doesn't get any better than that. Amazing shot. Oh, nice looking putt. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. And that will take him to three under. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Rich, we head to the fifth on the property and we really need to position our tee shots here, don't we? We do. This is a very interesting, cool hole, Luke. This is kind of like a fairway and then second shot green and not much else out there that you really want any part of. Missed the fairway bunker down the left-hand side. Don't hit it in there because you're going to make at least five, if not worse. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. Fantastic touch on this one. Nicely done from close range. This lie won't be too bad in the first cut. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. What a shot from the rough. This is gorgeous. They're not a bad shot, that one. This putt is from 14 feet. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. What a putt started this perfectly. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And with that, he'll move to four under par. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Rich, the sixth hole's a par four measuring under 400 yards, but there's still plenty of focus needed here. There, it's just a straightaway hole, Luke. A lot of players can go ahead and take a long iron and just wedge it on from there. I still think, though, the big hitters are going to give it a run and just take out the driver and whip it on up there. Quality shot, that one. Sitting at four under for the day. This is looking pretty good in the air. Gee, I think they've got the handle of this game, Rich. Fairways and greens. It has been fantastic to watch all week long. This player is dialed in. This one's for birdie. Yeah, this is looking nice. Oh, well played. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Patrick Cantlay is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. to have chosen the seven iron. This needs to go a little bit right once it lands. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Looking good so far. 
Now switching our focus to Lydia Ko. Second shot. Great putt. So after that effort, let's take a look at the leaderboard. And Patrick Cantlay, currently our leader. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. <laughs> Wonderfully played from around 180 yards out. They're going with a bit more club here. Let's see if it was the right call. Well, that's a handy shot. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? He's looking at around 14 foot, I'd say. was on a good line an opportunity to make a par here currently six under for the event the finishing hole on the outward half the ninth another good par four it is luke the fairway pinches in quite narrowly up there with the bunkers come into play second shot maybe slightly back uphill to a green that is absolutely colossal. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. John, do you have any info down there? Hey guys, we're checking in down here with Brooke Henderson as she gets set for her next shot here on the 10th. Touch of class, holes it from the sand. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. This one's going right at the pin here. That was a beauty. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Oh, that's frustrating. A par putt on the table. Oh, that's got to be frustrating. Hit such a great approach shot in, but wasn't able to convert. He finds himself at a share of 14th position. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Oh, well done. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? This is down breeze, so it's going to be tough to stop it on this green. Really controlled the flight there nicely with that wind. Time to head to the 11th hole now for this highlight. Tony Finau with a fantastic shot. Wonderful effort. And back to the course with the live action. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. This is their look at birdie. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible.
Patrick Cantlay currently in the lead. Time to tee off on the 11th. Well struck. And he's down there. Setting up this one, hitting into a downhill green. They might be taking a bit less club here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Well, that's a great shot and a birdie opportunity coming up here at the 11th. Punt is underway. Trailing by eight strokes now after that hole. Some strong holes on the inward half of this uh, golf course, Rich, but there's no one longer than the 12th, the par five. There is not. It is absolute bombs away off the tee shot for these players. If they can get it up and over a small rise, the ball will chase down and give them a thought. A thought, will they try and reach this 630-yard par five with the water in front? No, thanks. I'm laying up, and I never say that. Uh, great shot. Time to catch up with the Canadian, Brooke Henderson. Let's recap this long-range effort. Nicely hold. Okay, time to return to the action. Time for the second shot at the 12th. Getting ready to play their third. Puff of wind blowing right to left. Chosen the pitching wedge here. <laughs> Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And a fantastic look upcoming. Just four feet remaining between him and the hole. I like the look of this. Yeah, they're good momentum makers, those ones. Good putt for birdie. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. And now striding onto the tee of this par three hole. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Well, let's catch up with this play just a moment ago. This was her second. They've hold it. Let's return to live play now. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? All right, down the hill here. Got to be gentle. Oh yeah, this is tracking nicely. Wonderful shot. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. A 
I know this holds a par five, but it's a long one. So don't feel the need to overpower it. It looked like it came out of a cannon. Second shot here on the 14th. And this player is really going after it here, Rich. Absolutely. Love watching a player be bold and be rewarded for it. Surely it's going to. That's a great putt and an eagle as well. And he dances his way to the top 10 after that delightful shot. Patrick Cantlay finds himself one shot clear at the top of the leaderboard. The 15th for the tournament is the 17th on the golf course, Rich. A long par three. It is just over 220 yards to so a heart-shaped green, but I can promise you, Luke, there is nothing lovely about this hole. It is strong. There's water left that you want no part of. You bail out to the right. You're in the bunkers. I'm going to take three and move on to the next. That's just inside the range. And this putt is to move into the top five. Looking really good, this one. Let's head out to the 16th hole. This is Brooke Henderson. Going with the pitching wedge here. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Patrick Cantlay is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-stroke lead. Decisions to be made off the tee here, Rich, at the 16th hole. At just under 400 yards, Luke, I just don't see most players taking out driver and giving it a go. Just hit an iron short left of that fairway bunker, wedge it on, make your birdie. That'll work, that's fine. Second shot here on the 16th. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, well played into birdie range here at the 16th. It's just about three feet away. This for a birdie birdie run. Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Back-to-back -back birdies never hurt, Rich. Kind of like it. He's feeling it. Just two shots back after that hole. A couple of strong finishing holes to finish up here, Rich. First, let's take a look at the 17th. Yeah, it's just about 420 yards, and you want to favor down the left-hand side as this fairway does move left to right. You avoid those fairway bunkers. The second shot, you have to be precise with your distance control because this green has got a lot of movement on it, a lot of little bowls to it. That's a good looking shot there. This one is all over it. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And a chance to move into a tie for second here. 
Always nice to hold those for a birdie. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And the finishing hole at the south course of Wilmington's famous country club. Uh, reach a really good par four. Just over 440 yards. The bunker down the right-hand side off the tee is only reachable for the big hitters. Second shot slightly back up the hill to a two-tiered green. Distance control is imperative. That's some good golf right there. Playing from 110 yards out. Currently a shot off the lead. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Nice shot that. That should find the surface. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. A lot on the line here. This putt for a share of top spot. This looks like it's got the speed and the line. And that signs off on today's round.